The Renault Quid was launched in 2015 as a crossover city car that was initially intended for the Indian market. In 2016, it was introduced into sub-Saharan Africa, and in 2017, an improved version was released in the Latin American market of Brazil. Its battery electric version, named Renault City KZE, was launched in 2019, being manufactured in China and exported to Europe since 2021 as Dacia Spring Electric and to Latin America since 2022 as Renault Quid E-Tech. We will use the Dacia Spring Electric, which was tested by Euro NCAP, to compare with the Quids in the Indian, Sub-Saharan, African and Latin American markets, since electric vehicles usually fare much better in crash tests than cars with engines. In other words, the Spring Electric is the best crash protection a Quid is likely to offer. The Dacia Spring's safety equipment for the driver and front passenger include front, side head and side chest airbags, belt pretensioners and load limiters. The rear passengers get side head airbags and pretensioner and load limiter seat belts. The passenger compartment of the spring remained stable in the frontal offset test. The spring offered poor protection to the driver's thighs and weak protection to the feet. Protection of the driver dummy's chest and pelvis was also rated as poor. Protection of the head and neck of the six-year child was rated as weak. Protection of the neck of the 10-year dummy was rated as marginal. Full width rigid barrier test protection for the head of the rear passenger was rated as poor because of the extent to which it moved. Chest protection of both occupants was rated as marginal. In both the side barrier test and the more severe side pole impact, rib compression indicated marginal levels of chest protection, but that of other critical body areas was good. All critical body regions were well protected. There are no center airbags in the Dacia Spring. Tests on the front seats and head restraints demonstrated good protection against whiplash injuries in the event of a rear-end collision, but a geometric assessment of the rear seats indicated poor whiplash protection. The car has no multi-collision braking system to prevent secondary impacts. Post-collision braking initiates the brakes after an impact to help provide a moderate level of deceleration in an attempt to prevent the vehicle from rolling forward. In summary, the spring's passive safety equipment, which is much more than most quids, includes a stable body shell, eight airbags and pretensioner and load limiter seatbelts. But the spring's crash test safety is still disappointing, despite its stable body shell. A stable body shell usually reduces the likelihood of life-threatening injuries. It absorbs and dissipates energy, and by maintaining structural integrity, helps the seat belts and airbags to perform effectively. In the frontal offset test, readings of several parameters in the dummy's legs were high, indicating poor protection. Protection of the driver dummy's chest and pelvis was rated as poor. Protection of the head and neck of the six-year child were rated as weak. The neck of the 10-year dummy was marginally protected. In the full-width rigid barrier test, protection for the head of the rear passenger was rated as poor. Chest protection of both occupants was rated as marginal. In both the side barrier test and the more severe side pole impact, rib compression indicated marginal levels of chest protection. A geometric assessment of the rear seats indicated poor whiplash protection. I have to say no to the spring given its one-star Euro NCAP rating. I would consider this one-star rating as the best crash test performance of the Quid range. Its siblings in India, Sub-Saharan African and Latin America are unlikely to match the Sprig's terrible crash test performance and would in all probability be much, much worse. Global NCAP tested the quid for the Indian market several times during 2016. The first test was for the standard version, which had no seatbelt pretensioners, no airbags, and no ABS. In fact, it had no safety equipment. And to make matters worse, the quid's body shell was also unstable. It scored zero stars for adult occupant protection and two stars for child occupant protection. Protection for the driver's head, chest, and feet was rated as poor. Global NCAP retested the quid 
when Renault reinforced the structure on the driver's side. However, the Quid's body shell was still rated as unstable, and given that it had no safety equipment, it again scored zero stars for adult occupant protection and two stars for child occupant protection. Protection for the driver's head and chest was still rated as poor. Renault added a driver's side airbag. The Quid's body shell was still rated as unstable. The Quid's only safety feature was the driver's frontal airbag. However, its scores of zero stars for adult occupant protection and two stars for child occupant protection remained the same. Protection for the driver's head and neck was now rated as good, but protection for the chest remained poor. For the fourth test, Renault added front seatbelt pretensioners. The Quid's body shell was still unstable. It scored one star for adult occupant protection and one star for child occupant protection. Protection for the driver's head and neck was rated as good, but protection for the driver's chest remained poor, while protection for the passenger's chest went from marginal down to weak. The Quids did not have anti-lock braking systems, ABS, despite its accepted ability to significantly reduce the likelihood of fatal crashes and the risk of injury, especially to pedestrians. The dynamic performance of the 18-month's child allowed head contact with the frontal backrest and biomechanical readings were also high. The child seat for the three-year-old was not able to prevent excessive forward movement during the impact and the biomechanical readings were high. This, and because it was difficult to properly install child restraint systems, resulted in only one star being awarded for child protection. The Renault Quid, as tested in 2016 for the Indian market, yielded disappointing results indeed. Its lack of safety features left me running for the hills. I am not a fan of vehicles with unstable body shells, or depending on which variant you choose, serious head or chest injuries or both. Yikes! The Indian manufactured One Star rated 2016 quid with its single airbag and lack of ABS and Isofix anchorages was also sold in sub-Saharan African markets. In 2020, Global NCAP tested the Quid specifically for the African market and awarded it two stars for adult and child occupants. The Quid's safety features included front seatbelt pretensioners, airbags for the front occupants, and ABS. However, its body shell and footwell area were still rated as unstable. The child seat for the three-year-old was not able to prevent excessive forward movement. Protection for the 18-month-old was limited because the head contacted the interior of the car during the impact. The CRS showed structural failure during the test, so protection was limited for the head and chest. Protection for the driver's chest was weak, while protection for the driver's knees and feet was marginal. In 2017, Latin NCAP Crash tested the Brazilian manufactured Quid for the Latin American market. The Quid was awarded three stars for both adult and child protection. The Quid has four airbags, seat belt pretensioners for front occupants, ABS and Isofix anchorages. Protection for the 18-month-old was good during this test. The child seat for the three-year-old was able to prevent forward movement during the frontal impact beyond the excursion limits. Unlike the Indian and sub-Saharan quids, its body shell and footwell area were rated as stable. In the side impact, protection of the driver's chest was rated as weak. Both child dummies were well protected in the side impact. In the frontal impact, protection of the driver's chest, knees and leg was rated as marginal. 
Unsurprisingly, the Latin NSCAP tested quid outperformed the 2016 quid sold in the Indian market. The surprise is that it also outperformed the 2019 global NCAP tested quid, which is sold in sub-Saharan markets. The quid offers great value for money, but its unstable body shell and limited safety features in models for the Indian and sub-Saharan markets that could lead to life-threatening injuries and death are very disappointing. For a crude yardstick of the likely impacts of a crash on rear passengers that are six years and older, consider the results of the Euro NCAP tested Dacia Spring. But remember that the results would be much worse in quids because the spring has a stable body shell and generous safety features. The poor crash safety of the quids for the Indian and sub-Saharan markets are in contrast to Renault's logo, passion for life.